Welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm gonna to bring you a video that I did, I put it together yesterday, and I did braised lamb shanks. So I did this in the All-American Sun Oven, and I thought I'd bring you along for that because it came out like a gourmet meal, and I think that you'll be impressed with how well this did. And so if this inspires you to stay with me, and I certainly hope it does, go down in the show more box below where I've got my Facebook page. Go over and like that page, join in on the conversation. Uh, also right next to it is my Wild Tree website. You can look at the products that I use today and or um, explore the idea of becoming a rep and earning a lot of extra money. Um, that's always good. Uh, also, I'm gonna have um, availability for you guys for the sun ovens. So if you are interested in a sun oven like this, give me a PM or message me and I will help you out. They run $349 for the model you're gonna see. And uh, if you refer to this video, um, I'll, I'll pay for the shipping. All right, so in the lower 48. All right, guys, let's go do some beautiful braised short ribs because they were absolutely incredible. Come on. Okay, guys, I'm super glad you stayed for this because this is gonna be easy and quick to put together, let it cook all day and go about our day. And uh, tonight we'll have a delicious meal. I'm gonna braise some lamb shanks. I've got uh, about a cup of red wine in here. I'm gonna first give them a nice sear and a little bit of smoke on the barbecue. I've got the hardwood um, out there, so uh, it's all fired up and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle over some grapeseed oil so it won't stick. If you treat your grill, season it with grapeseed oil, nothing will stick to it. And then I'm just gonna lightly season with our rancher steak rub. Uh, some wild tree and this is like if you were prepping to do a crock pot meal basically it's the same thing if you were gonna do it and you wanted some sear on the meat I've got some uh, sweet onions from the farmers market garlic and fresh herbs out of my gar garden so the rancher steak rub just so you guys know if you want to replace the ingredients <clears throat> everything says organic first so it's sea salt black pepper, garlic, allspice, cinnamon, organic cloves, and ginger. So, that being said, I'll meet you out at the barbecue. So I'm just gonna put this right there and let that start searing. And there you go. Hopefully you can see that. Nope, not at all. Let's bring you over. And there's those lamb shanks. I'm gonna get a good sear on both sides and then I'll bring you back inside and show you what I do with the rest of the dish. All right, so now that we've got these lamb shanks uh, seared off on the barbecue, we're going to go ahead and get the rest of our stuff in. And I want to I wanna show you how beautiful it's got. You can smell a bit of smoke. Yum. Okay, so what I want to do is create my braising liquid. And I'm really going to go on the easy way. I've got our balsamic dipping oil. It's a Mediterranean balsamic dipping oil from Wild Tree, so it's a grapeseed oil. But it's got all that herb flavoring I'm going to just layer in here. Probably, you know, three tablespoons or so of that. So it's not just to dip bread in. And then I've got some home canned chicken stock from a couple of years ago when this got the herbs in there still. It smells fabulous. And I'm gonna pour probably about a half a quart of that in there. And then we have a nice base of uh, braising fluid, liquid. Okay, so I've got a layer of these onions down because they're just gonna kind of melt away as this cooks. And my garlic, which will also just kind of melt into the sauce. And then we're gonna lay down some herbs. I've got rosemary, a little bit of sage, and some fresh thyme right out of the herb barrel. Lay that down, and then these uh, lamb shanks are gonna go right on top and just become absolutely fall off the bone tender by tonight. And 
we can go do shopping, spend time together since, you know, we only see each other on the weekends. Now, the top to this little pan, and I got this pan before I got the All-American Sun Oven. Uh, I love it. This has got the lid to it, but also you can turn this over and I can actually, I would be able to roast vegetables on top if I wanted to. But I'm just going to cover it and put it in the sun oven. So let's go out and see so what happens. So we got the pan in here and that oven is up at 300 degrees. Um, it's been out here preheating for, I don't know, since I've been searing this. So 300 degrees, it's ready to go. Now, if you want to slow cook, you uh, don't keep turning it to the sun and it's it still collects light, but it's, a, um, it's more of like indirect heat. So you can keep it, I don't want it to go over 300 degrees. So I'll maintain 300 for about an hour and then I'm gonna make sure it stays right around 250, 275 for the rest of the day. All right guys, so if you're gonna do a crock pot meal or you're doing a hunting trip and you need to put something on in the morning, I face it to two o'clock sun, that way it gathers light and it slow cooks, gets a ramp up at two to three and, or one to two and then it cools back down to a slow cooker temperature and when you get back to camp or home from work you've got a delicious meal so i'll bring you back tonight when we're about ready to eat dinner all right guys okay guys there's the end result of our lamb shanks and look how gorgeous pull apart tender oh my gosh smells delicious so i'm going to remove some of this from this liquid and i'm going to go ahead and uh, make a sauce and I'll bring you back when I serve it up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It looks beautiful. It was in the solar oven at, um, at 300 for the first hour and then I brought it back down and let it do indirect heat, so indirect light, um, which brought the temperature to right around 225 and just let it simmer for about six hours and this is what you have. All right, let's make All right, sauce. guys, finally the end result. So I have these beautiful, cheesy mashed potatoes I'm going to go ahead and put some of the sauce over it just so we have it over all of the potatoes here. And this sauce has an element of sweetness to it. Um, this grass-fed lamb is absolutely delicious. And I'm going to go ahead and put these onions that cooked in with the meat because these are a sweet onion from Farmer's Market and I don't want to waste them. So they're gonna be delicious right alongside. Then we get a pretty lamb shank here, just gorgeous lamb shank. And nestle that right down on top. There we go. Top it with some parsley, fresh out of the garden. And there you have a absolutely gourmet meal out of the solar oven the All-American Solar Oven. So if you guys are interested, contact me. Um, I can drop ship anywhere in the lower 48. Uh, and if you refer to this video, I'll, I'll pay for your shipping. They're $349 and uh, they do a great job. So let's dig in and see what we have. I'll take a little bite of potatoes with the sauce on there or gravy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yum. Man, that sauce just has a great flavor. You can taste the red wine in there, but it's it's kind of sweetened up, I think, because of the meat. Mm, delicious and really herbaceous. Mmm, those onions, that's why it's sweet. Those are good. That's like candy. Now, I'm gonna show you how tender and delicious fall apart this is. Look at that. Just wants to just fall right off the bone. Get a little bit of sauce here. Oh, I can't wait. This is, let's make sure you can see this because it is beautiful. Mm. My word, that's so good. Absolutely. Fall apart, tender, delicious gourmet meal down in the sun oven so if I can do this anybody can do this this wasn't hard it was just and it took no effort once I put it in there just set it and forget it anyways set it on the patio
All right, guys. I hope this inspires you. Try something new. Maybe try some sun solar cooking and uh, mix it up. Try different things. It's not just for soups and stews and that kind of thing. I did a really nice braised dish here. So that being said, I'm going to get back to dinner because my husband's over there kind of thumping his fingers. Uh, where's dinner? All right, guys. Come on.